So hello for all and welcome to see this artist live show. I'm Terhi Koskinen and we are doing some Christmas things today even though it's <laughs> the, be uh, the beginning of August and <laughs> it's kind of funny to to collect all the Christmas stuff but uh, I'm usually late with all the Christmas cards and actually last year I sent three Christmas cards so if you received one you are really really lucky person haha <laughs> now that was a joke but really I'm not a Christmas person but now that I had this new collection from Kaisercraft I will show you it's here I I was quite excited because this is full of pastel colors. This is just a 6x6 six six paper pad. And I thought these shiny powders from 30 knots go so well together with it that now I want to use this. And as I'm. I don't want to do any traditional big Christmas cards with Santa Claus and <laughs> some reindeers and stuff like that. I decided to do some kind of uh, ATC cards. Uh, this uh, white cardstock is uh, half of inch bigger than the A ATC card, uh, but this could be nice with some little present for teacher or whatever. Anyway, we are doing something fun and with nice techniques, so that's the main thing. I'm putting this to side. Never can start too early with Christmas card, really. <laughs> I think we can. And as as I said, I'm not that uh, Christmas person, so it's really really funny to go with Christmas theme in August but as we go with pastels it's nice. Uh, I'm going to use first this basic gesso because I want to give some small texture for the background. This is a basic watercolor paper. I don't remember for, from where I bought it but anyway I'm just adding some uh, this is quite thick, as this is from 13 Arts, and I love it because it leaves some kind of small texture to um, lines from your brush and stuff like that. And it's nice to use with shiny powders, and I will show you just in a minute why I want to have these small lines of the brush. I'm just focusing on the center area because, as you saw, this is a small area. It's two and a half inch and three and a half in inch, so it's really, really small. Um, while I have the gesso here, I'm going to use some wood veneer shapes as a decoration. These are also from Kaisercraft and released now in August. So let's see. I'm going to pick three. This will be one. Maybe this. Maybe two of these. Anyway, I'm adding just a small layer of gesso here too. Not for making uh, the thing that gesso does, the good base to add paints or any wet medias but just to <laughs> do it white you can use any any white paint but I will use this white gesso because it's already here uh, I don't even mind if the little holes are going all with the gesso because it will be just one layer in my card, so it doesn't matter that much. And also, it doesn't matter if this uh, painting this with gesso makes this background kind of funny look, because I want to have all these small textures. So that's the 
way I like it. That's the way. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. I'm just seeing if there is some kind of conversation in the chat. Hello, Laetitia. How do you say that? I don't know. Okay, so now I have painted it with gesso and we should use some kind of heat gun, but da -da 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 -da, here's a dry one. Because I don't want to use the heat gun because my girls are sleeping in the next room and it makes some kind of noise. So, next I'm just trying to get this wet gesso out of my fingers because I'm using my fingers for the next phase. Um, as I'm using pastels, pastel colors on my, on my, with the papers, I'm going to pick three similar shades of shiny borders. I'm going with uh, uh, purple or violet and with the shimmer green and luster pure blue. Others are going there. We have so many different shades of these shiny powders and they are so nice because they are all uh, natural Mika. So it's just the powder. You can add it, add it to anywhere. And I'm taking some some to here, some blue, then I'm putting this here so you can see, some green. You can mix the shiny powders with like anything, gesso, gel medium, texture paste, anything, or you can add it to any um, to any surfaces, just like I'm adding now to this this gesso. Uh, you don't actually see any textures here, and it doesn't matter. It was too thin layer to have any textures, but we don't care about that right now. But I'm just using my finger to draw with the shiny powders now. Uh, I'm adding just a small amount at the time because it's it's really really powder. <laughs> so just a small amount at the time. And then the next finger. I'm doing some kind of stripes right now and just in a minute I will show you why. So you can actually color like a rainbow or or like with any pastels or if you want to have some kind of metallic shades we have gold, we have bronze and silver and any kind of colors and new colors are coming all the time, so keep your eyes open. Anyway, if you have some kind of texture on the background, even with a stencil or or uh, just with the brush or something, they will appear here right now. But I don't have in this piece as much as I would like to have, so we are going with this. Uh, at this point, I don't care that uh, there is a lot of um, loose powder because in a moment I will I will do some stamping with versatile ink and just as with like pan pastels, I will receive a nice pattern on top of here some green more like that okay i mixed my fingers how the hell that happened okay like that 
some green more. I love the green and I love these shiny powders because as their name are shi sh shiny powders, they really are shiny. Really shiny. So, let's see. Hello, Yasmin. Nice to see you here. And thank you, Marta, for adding the link. Okay, my computer is in <laughs> shiny powder, so you can actually add your shiny powders to your computer. No, that was a joke. Don't add shiny powders to your computer, please. It might do some damage. I'm just throwing this away. And now uh, I just received uh, new stamps from Create a Smile. Uh, Creative Smile is a small German company and they usually do clear stamps, but now these are the first clean stamps they had. One is uh, this uh, star stamp, then there's this nice leaf and this lovely mandala stamp and some dots, which I'm going to use right now. Um, as I said before, I'm going to do some stamping with the Versa Versamark ink. Did I say Versatile before? Anyway, I'm using this and just adding some to the stamp. Just like any ink and stamp. You don't actually see the stamped pattern right now that will but in a minute you will see and I will show you how I'm doing another pattern as said it's hard to see where the pattern goes so I will not receive a solid a nice pattern but I don't care about that it's not the main thing the main thing is to see this technique and I really love it and I will cut this paper anyway to pieces so it doesn't matter that much. So now I have stamped and as I also said before I will not care about the loose powder here because I take my brush and now that I'm gently carefully brushing all over I will see the stamped pattern. Can you see it? If I raise it up a little, yeah, it's there. It's nice. It's there. And as I see, there's not the stamped thing. I will just add something. Do I have any left here? Maybe there. Yeah, I really love this technique. Uh, it's not like the most visual technique, but it's nice detail on your background. And I really love the rainbow effect, that the colors are flowing together like smoothly and nicely and la 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 la. So, the next phase, I will cut this paper. Hello Janus, nice to see you here. Um, I'm doing three cards, so, 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 now I should be my inner engineer and make some serious measuring. Is that the right word? I don't know. But anyway, just a second. Is it better at this? No. Too much options, so two and a half. Yep. Padang. Another two and a half. Padang. And then the rest. It should be a, sm a little bigger that way, but I don't care. And then three and a half to another direction. Like that. We have one. You can actually have two of these. So, it's here. The light makes it 
so bad, but I will show you here. Nice dots. I really love the uh, all geometrical or geometric, how to say it. Anyway, the sh shapes, because it's always nice to have some kind of basic shapes and things like that. Uh, I will not throw these away. I could actually have a few more. Don't care about that right now. Um, if you are uh, wondering how to seal the shiny powder, don't be afraid. You can add a small, uh, thin, very thin layer of like gel medium and let it dry. But if you don't want a uh, um, surface like gel medium gives to you, you can always use like liquid medium or something like that and spray it on top. So it will it will do it. Uh, I want to have these edges with this is from Kaisercraft also this ink. This is called Island. I'm just adding some to the edges because it looks much more nicer, <laughs> prettier. I'm losing all my words. Last time I was losing my my sense or wiseness or something. What's the word? And now I'm losing all my words. Don't care about that either. So, uh, as you see here, we have the background and of course the white cardstock and then we have some glitter paper but it's not paper it's tape and I'm going to show you the simple trick of doing the tape I'm using these glitter tapes from Kaisercraft is that set frozen just checking frozen <laughs> you get you can talk with each other please <laughs> <laughs> or are you just too curious to see what I'm doing? Of course you are. Yeah. So I'm um, adding stripes. Like just like I added the shiny powders. Um, repeating green, blue, and purple. Green, blue, purple. Okay. How this opens here. Uh, here I'm also going with the purple. It's like the best shades of these pastel shades. And gold and I think this uh, green tone. It's mint. But I'm not sure right now. I will check that and add it to our chat if you want. Okay, Karen just added the link, which is nice. So I'm adding a few more because I want to have this enough. Um, actually, one time Rika did her layout uh, with the same technique. She did a large, large uh, area of uh, different washi tapes. Uh, this isn't a regular washi tape. But similar, you can add it and then take it off. So this is very very nice technique to add to your layouts or to your art journals or to anything, because you can add it and then if you don't like it, just take it off. It's simple as that. So I'm making one more of this gold. Then I'm good. And if you have some kind of really nice patterns in your washi tape, this is a nice way to use them because I have to confess that I do have a lot of washi tapes and other tapes, but I never use them. So this is really nice way to get them used. Uh, I'm just cutting two by two squares. This 
this is the time that you can really uh, if you want to have it like this way or that way or straight or anything and I picked up the straight line today I'm using a lot of my paper trimmer so it's nice I love paper crafting like with no medias but today we are doing something with medias last time we did some watercoloring with me and today we are doing something else so now we have the glitter things and we do, do need some more of paper layers so I'm picking picking something from here I'm not sure what because uh, these sample cards have also the cold shiny powder it's a little yellow here on the background but this one is more with the purple team so what do you think should I go with the oh this looks nice it goes nicely. I want to have more gold today. Another one. Maybe the purple one. No. Green one? Green one looks nice. Is it too green? It's summer in Finland, but already uh, the time is now half past nine in the evening in Finland. Hello. It's good night. So. Uh, and it's already getting dark so it's like goodbye summer it was nice to meet you and we'll see you again next year so sorry for living in Finland in the fall time because it's so dark and I have to use that kind of table lamp which gives unnatural light and I really don't care about that I am always with uh, natural bright light if possible but it's not possible here I should move to Australia or somewhere but my everything is here so <laughs> and I don't have the money I need to work here anyway so I did some papers stripes and I'm doing some kind of paper collage of them and I also will use these die shapes from the back side of this paper pad. It's nice to have these die cuts in the paper pad because it's nice to have them here. <laughs> I lost my thought again. So I'm picking up just few without any Santa Claus because I really don't love the Santa Claus showing everywhere. I'm actually mad for Santa Claus because he didn't bring me that what I wanted last year. No, just joking. Yeah, like that. Oh, I need one more. No, I don't need one more. I'm this is all about Kaisercraft today, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, I'm just watching the chat and Delaine said it's quite dark there. But yeah, but you have daylight more than here in the winter because we have like six hours of daylight in the winter and it's not nice. Anyway, uh, these are clear stickers from Kaisercraft and as you see, these are really Christmas, Christmas, Christmas thing. So... And Karen just says she likes the sayings in the back. Maybe you meant these. I like them too. But I will not use them now because I want to uh, use these Merry Christmas -la 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 things. Uh, I'm using the background uh, again because why to throw away a nice patterned paper just adding the stickers here I hope it 
sticks to the shiny powder. If not, I will add some gel medium between. But I will... I think it sticks. Now we try it. And it sticks. Yes, good for 13 arts. Very good work. And still the colors are magical. I really love them. Uh, these are going to the going to be the titles. But of course you can do the same technique without the Christmas theme. You can just add like Happy New Year. It's not the Christmas theme. Just joking. Happy Hanukkah or Happy Birthday or Happy Life or Congratulations Marta for having your birthday today or something like that. Uh, I'm just cutting these off. You can also use the paper trimmer but I'm not at the mood to use it again and again and again. I'm good with the almost straight lines I'm getting with the scissors. And as this is clear stickers, it's nice to have this kind of shiny surface next to this matte surface and next to this glitter surface. So we have lots of different different things in the same really small card. Okay, so now I should make some kind of collage. Sorry about the noise. I'm just picking up some kind of thread here because someone has cleaned the table. Actually cleaned the table and it's not normal to clean the table. So next I'm needing my 3D foam to get it all together. I'm also going to need my double-sided tape, which is quite wide. I love this. And I'm al always using this. So I want to have the same kind of triangles to the corners as I did before. And the easiest way to do is just cut it. And I added first the 3D foam because I want to make it even easier. <laughs> Always going to the easiest way in crafting, but not in life. I have two horses, two daughters, two dogs. One job. Not the easiest way, but hey, I'm loving it. Okay, back to the crafting business. Um, hi, Kristen. Oh, I... What is that word? What Rika said, I think there he even that with the daylight hours. I don't get that word, I'm sorry Rika. I'm from Finland, I don't speak English. It was a joke. I speak English but I don't understand all the words. But forgive me that I speak good Finnish. Okay, so Kristen, it's nice to see you here and <laughs> you definitely share my daylight issue and the best solution for that as far as I know is the day bulb lamp. I don't know is that the right word, but it gives almost the same light as, as the natural light, but it's of course not exactly the same. So I'm doing my paper collage by cutting these papers. I love this um, wood shape thing. What's the word for this green wood? Rika, help me. You might know or someone else might know. Kristen loves this collection from Kaisercraft too. I'm sure about that. I'm so uh, excited to be on Kaisercraft design team because um, I really love this 
all these patterned papers and well I love them all actually I love all my design themes so <laughs> that's about that I don't want them all to be just the sim similar way so here we go and now I'm going to add these two maybe here um, when I do ATC cards it's really nice to have kind of the same theme in all I usually do three or four or something like that it's nice to have um, that theme same in all but then something special for each one like here I will add um, the collages differently for every single card and also I will I will uh, add something special for every one it's it gives me more um, it makes this more interesting to do and it's also I think it's nicer to well it's nicer to do that's that's the simplest way to say what I'm about to say so I'm just using a stapler to make this and why I'm using a stapler instead of gluing everything because it's much much faster and you don't see the staples later rectangle is that the word it might be it might be it really might be yep so I can see here is my mistake the glitter tape is not going through but I don't give a damn sorry about the bad word but I really don't it, it's it's my card you don't have to take it if you don't like it haha <laughs> so I'm adding these and this one needs more of this glitter thing like here I'm all, almost covering the whole card but who cares I don't as far as I like it it's good I'm always thinking about that when crafting because I'm I'm, I'm the kind of person that wants to please everyone and if someone don't like something that I do it's like a big deal for me but with crafting I'm always thinking that it's for me something that is really for me even though even though I'm doing uh, some something that someone ha has asked me to do it's still for me it's my thing and no one can say it it's wrong or it's uh, it should be like that or that or that that's my thing how about you one month in Australia is brilliant oh sorry Elaine but oh sorry Kristen I think every month in, in Australia is good right because it's it's warm and they have kangaroos and they have they have they have they have warm there and sun and everything okay okay I know if you live in southern uh, Australia it's not the same thing but anyway I can dream always I can dream so as here uh, I wanted the title to pop up so I again used uh, 3D foams where are they? here so um, these are quite large squares 
so I need to cut them to smaller ones um, usually the artist live shows are all about mixed media techniques but I see these cards are actually not that much of mixed media but I think it's nice to get something else. Last week uh, Marta did some amazing shabby chick card. One card. Uh, or did she do two? Anyway, she did something amazing and it was really nice and inspiring. And of course you can use that style for your Christmas cards also. But I'm going with the more uh, Maybe this is more basic style, I don't know, but definitely not anything related to vintage theme. Um, I actually don't personally like the vintage theme because I'm not a vintage person. I like um, clear things, clear shades of colors and bright things and not that much of brown and earth tones but we all love different things and that's that's what I love in this crafting business because you always see different things and you get something out of uh, someone else's work to inspire you so it's really nice Oh, Karen is going. Are you really going? There he wants to visit Queensland. I would love to <sighs> see everything in Australia. And Laetitia asked about Finland winter. Yes, it's really, really beautiful down here, uh, up here. Um, everything is white in <laughs> at least one day a year here near to Helsinki but in Lapland everything is white and it, it really is beautiful I I really agree about that and the fact that I should live somewhere else for like the rest of my life no 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 I love Finland winter but I really don't enjoy that darkness because I need light I really do but let's say um, a few months of darkness and uh, no i i really would love to see the best parts of fin <laughs> finland winter and then enjoy the sun in somewhere else but yes it's really really beautiful but the days that are gray you don't see sun for a few weeks and it's raining 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 or it's cold 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 like minus 30 degrees celsius uh, it sucks i can say it it sucks uh, kristen knows that she lives in norway and it's the same there and it's it's not like in the some Hollywood movies where the Christmas uh, the winter is all about Christmas Eve when snow is f falling like one snowflake an hour and oh it's not that we have car accidents people are too hurry to get work and lots of bad things but we have beautiful winter too and there are lots of nice sports you can do during the winter, like right in the um, snowy field, which is like the best thing you can do with horse. I actually just watched the Olympics. There is uh, cross country riding going on right now, and it's like the <laughs> only sport I'm able to watch because I don't really care about sports. 
but it was nice. Anyway, back to winter. Uh, riding in snowy field is the best thing. And other nice um, sports is uh, ski riding. I don't know is that the right word, but um, like one is riding and the other one is uh, having her or his uh, skis and have this uh, okay I'm going to draw this because I have no words for that anyway the like this is the horse like here and this is the rider going forward there and the horse has this not saddle the thing you can keep on and then you are here with your skis like this <laughs> this is a uh, ski riding okay so let's see I need to uh, read that chat later because now I'm now I'm putting this this sports behind. Uh, I got this uh, background three wide and four long, but I think it was too much. I think smaller will do good, but I will cut it again later. Uh, I don't want to um, use all my time to cutting things and I want to have even one card ready during the show. I have speaking, been speaking so much and about everything that all this time goes to my talking and nothing is getting done. Sorry about that, but at least you know now that I do love Finnish winter, but I also do hate Finnish winter. So, uh, if I would see winter in somewhere else, then I probably would appreciate the Finnish winter more. But by now, this is good. So, now I'm thinking about doing some kind of as you saw, I put some thread over here and now I'm again adding the 3D foam. I know I use it a lot, but it's so easy to use and you can also do some kind of nice layers with it. The layers will pop up much more than using just glue. So this one goes here. Like this, and the chipboard on top, and the Merry Christmas blah blah here. But uh, now I really need to cut these edges because if I add the Merry Christmas thing, it will not be good anymore. Uh, if someone likes to have one of these, just write me a message. I will send this. I have three of these. But if anyone doesn't like them, don't worry, I will send them anyway. <laughs> no, I don't have your addresses, but I will give them to somewhere. We have lots of time before Christmas, so I will want find a friend who wants my card. Again, that was a lousy joke. So, uh, what we have learned today is that shiny color, shiny powders are the best thing in the world and Kaisercraft has a lot of nice things too. Um, I'm trying to do one to the end before... Ah, oh, boy! Okay, this clue wants to live with me. It doesn't want to be on the bottle, in the bottle. I probably have now shiny powder and glue on my computer. So 
that's <laughs> not probably the best thing. But who cares? It's my computer and I can decorate it if I want to. I might put some kind of picture to to this even group. Me, queen of paper layers? Or do you mean Terhi? I'm not sure. I think both of us, Riikka and me, do a lot of layers. Okay, Riikka just put me a message. She wants one card. Nice of you. I will send you one. Um, love your house. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, back to this card. I'm just a little bit scary for that computer because I really have clue uh, on the uh, what's the word for where you write things um, these alphas whatever so I have clue there so if I write something in a minute like k k k k k k k it's just because I have clue in my computer. Oh no. Okay, these are pearls from Kaisercraft and they comes in these uh, these lines and you can use them to decorate your scrapbook page or anything in this line but I want to use them separately so I cut them off there and I will add just few for each card or for this card because I really don't have time to finish all right now but I don't care I just want to do slowly and smoothly because I love to do this anyway uh, the last phase for this card is doing some splashes as always and I'm going with shame shade as the shiny powder the purple or violet shiny powder this pastel lavender mist it's also from Kaiser Kai blah 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 it's also from 13 arts uh, it's the pastel it has this nice pastel color and I will just add few drops here and there this will try quite um, light it will not be this dark as it shows here so it's nice to have some some something just little as we are doing pastels I will keep on the pastel team I'm not adding any black uh, splashes even though I usually love to have contrast in my craft works but this is a special thing we have black here in this Merry Christmas text but it's really thin black letters so it will do okay I will finish these other later because now I want to say thank you for all uh, I'm not I'm not okay someone is mixing me and Rika and I will definitely make that like a compliment for me because Rika is the queen of Finland and I'm so happy that someone mixed me for her three. So I'm not changing the camera, but haha! -ha. Hello, there's my bed, <laughs> and there's me. So thank you all for coming, and thank you for watching and listening, and thank you Karen and Rika for having me. I would love to do it again, and good evening for all, and uh, enjoy the winter that you are having even though you are in Finland or Australia or wherever we all love our countries and we all love this lovely world so thank you and have a good night or have a good day Elaine and have a happy birthday Marta bye